hello everyone uh, in the last video uh, of the flow control we have discussed about the condition statements in this video we will be discussing about the iterative or looping statements you know so uh, python may do uh, type key loops with a quota for loop or a quota while loop or hum transfer statement key bad is key do variants or putting that is a for else loop and while else loop so for the current video we are discussing about the looping statement that is a for loop and while loop तो हमें लूप की आवश्यकता क्यों होती है जब भी हम किसी स्टेटमेंट को या ब्लॉक ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स को मल्टीपल टाइम रिपीटेटिवली यूज करना चाहते हैं तो हम लूप्स को यूज करते हैं ना अब लूप भी दो टाइप के बताए हैं पाइथन में वन इज द फॉर लूप एंड सेकंड वन इज द वाइल लूप तो जब हम किसी सीक्वेंस के एवरी एलिमेंट को ट्रेड करना चाहते हैं तो हम फॉर लूप के साथ जाएंगे और जब तक हम किसी कंडीशन तक किसी लूप को एग्जीक्यूट करना चाहते हैं तो हम प्रॉबली वाइल लूप के साथ काम करेंगे ना सो लेट बी स्टार्ट टू वर्क विद द फॉल लूप है ना सपोज वी आर हैविंग वन स्ट्रिंग दैट इज एस इट इज कंटेनिंग द राहुल वन फॉर्मेट ऑफ द फॉल लूप इज जस्ट लाइक अ जावा फॉर इच लूप हम इंडिविजुअल सीक्वेंस के हम हर सीक्वेंस के इंडिविजुअल एलिमेंट्स को एक्सेस कर सकते हैं बाय यूजिंग द फॉर सो व्हाट इज द वे लेट सपोज आई एम राइटिंग फॉर आई इन एस कोलन टू क्रिएट द ब्लॉक प्रिंट आई व्हेन 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 आई रन दिस कोड यू कैन सी आई आई एम एक्सेसिंग द इंडिविजुअल एलिमेंट ऑफ द सीक्वेंस दैट इज अ स्ट्रिंग राहुल एंड प्रिंटिंग आई सो वन ऑफ द यूज ऑफ दिस फॉर लूप इज द एक्सेसिंग द इंडिविजुअल एलिमेंट ऑफ द sequence another way suppose uh, i want to uh, find out the data of this string also so another way is i will be running for i in range of the loop will be running i in the range of what is the range suppose the range is length of the string so length of the string means s and now i want to access the element instead of directly from the sequence i want to access just like an array and on the basis of the index so what i will do i will be writing here s of i so when i run this code can you see the same output so uh, one way is to use the for loop as a uh, for each loop of the java it means that uh, we want to access the individual element that will be the part of this i only another way is we are working over the length of the string and we will be fetch we are fetching individual element by using the indexing over that string now suppose uh, suppose uh, i am having uh, another test case we are taking suppose i want to print uh, numbers in the range defined by user suppose we are taking one input integer input from the user Yeah. Within this number, suppose I am using for i in range of suppose the n, which is given uh, given by the user. I am checking if i two is equal to zero, then print i. Otherwise, I will do nothing because I want the output of. Uh, even numbers only so when i run this code and i am passing 10 you can see the output is 0 2 4 6 so uh, this what the another way to solve the problem of even number in a given range of even number in a given range of a user input so uh, you can see uh, we can have another example for this suppose uh, uh, um i am taking one list uh, uh, that is given by the user so uh, we, we see the test case uh, uh, which we have discussed in the input suppose uh, the user has given one list to me and how i will get this list i i have to use the eval so whatever the use, user will pass to me i want to find out the sum of all the elements of the list so what i need to do for in list what i will do just uh, i will take one some variable here uh, 
for i in list what i need to do sum plus equal to i finally we will be just printing the sum of that what i need to do i will be passing one two so you can see the output is 10 it means that we have passed the data as a list and it is accessing the individual element of the sequence so what can i see either i'm i'm passing a list whether i'm passing tuple suppose let i pass the tuple here to solve the problem suppose 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 enter the program you can see the output is 10 so this for loop is working actually over the sequence that sequence can be the string that sequence can be the uh, list that sequence can be the tuple also now we discuss about the while loop okay so while loop suppose uh, i'm i'm having one input uh, that is a value of n. I want to print the value till that particular input. So what I will do? I am having one condition. So suppose uh, uh, I am taking one uh, variable here. That is i is equal to 1. And I will check while the i is less than n. I and at the same time, I have to do the i plus equal to 1. This, this situation will continue. Suppose I, I am doing 5. So you can see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So with this example, we can see this while loop is used for the particular condition. And for loop is basically used for uh, accessing the sequence data. Now, uh, now let me talk about the nested loop. The nested loop uh, can be in, uh, in case of or 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 cases may have nested loop by use kar sakte hain. So, we have a scenario lete hain yaha par aur hum dekhte hain ki kis tarikhe se hum use kar sakte hain humare is data ka. Suppose we are having this program. We want to generate this pattern. So how we will be generating this pattern? Let me take an example of the for loop. From for loop ki madad se is pattern ko generate karne ki koses karte hain. Ye pattern kya bol raha hai ki aapko star print karna hai aur jaise hi aapka number of iterations badhte jayenge aapke number of stars jo hain aapke badhte jayenge hai na? So let let me take here um, input lete hain hum ek user se aur kitne tak hame print karna hai let me check it. Input here the number till pattern to be displayed. Hum dekhte hain aur us number ko lete hain. Humne input liya. What we will do? We will take for i in range of. Kahan se kahan tak lena hai? Hume kis range tak lena hai? Suppose hum n range tak lete hain. Thik hai? Aur what we want to do? Hum print karna chahte hain har star ko hai na? So what we will do? We will take for j in range of कहाँ से कहाँ तक लेना पड़ेगा हमें हमें range लेना पड़ेगी suppose uh, मैं one से start करता हूँ तो वो ज़्यादा सही रहेगा हमारे लिए और हमें range लेना पड़ेगी कहाँ से one से i plus one तक मतलब जो i की value है उस i की value के corresponding हमें print करना पड़ेगा so how we will be print we will be printing the star Uh, we have to end it by using the space. I run this code for every fourth, every for loop, every for jth loop, we have to change the line. So here I will writing the print statement only that we have already discussed. So when I run this code and hit 5, you can see this. So we are having the same pattern here. When I run this code, for the 9, so you can see the same pattern is here. 
So by using the for loop and the nested for loop, we, we could be able to print this pattern. So ye loops ko use karne ka tarika hai, loop ko uh, nested tarike se bhi karne ka tarika hai ki nested loop ke form mein bhi hum kar sakte hai isko. Alaki uh, is, pro is problem ko solve karne ke liye hume nested loop ki avashakta nahi thi, hum single loop se bhi kaam kar sakte thi. Wo kaise kar sakte hai, dekhi ki yadi iska ek alternative way bhi dekhte hai hum. To solve this problem in a Python specifically, what I will do, I will just take this input. This loop ko hi lete hai for i in range of n. So uh, suppose uh, the situation is one to n plus one le lete hai humko, because hum n tak chalana chahte hai, once I start kar rahe hai What I need to do, just I have to print s trick and how many time that should be multiple multiplied by i because we are having this uh, multiple uh, operator so when i run this code enter 5 so you can see the same output here so without nesting you can have the same solution for the pattern like in this video i have to nested loops ka concept bhi samjhana tha isliye maine aapse nested loops ke bare mein bhi discuss kara so we have discussed about the for loop while loop and nested loops. So uh, for this video, this is over from my side. Thank you.